Bioware is known for these, you know, fantastic characters people really identify with. So can you tell me a little bit about the journey from initial conception all the way through to the final game? Character creation is a, it, it takes a huge amount of iteration uh, on the part of many departments to really come with a, uh, you know, finished and believable character that, that, that people will identify with. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads and it is killing you. So how do the writers and the artists work together? We could work in a bubble, I suppose, and, and write what the character is, the story, and so forth. And I think it's always better when we, when we work as a team. We start working with the writers and the designers to really get an idea of the world, get an idea of how the characters are going to react to each other, their personalities. And then we take that to the concept artists, we start sketching it up. The visual appearance of the characters uh, takes a lot of work and, and again takes a lot of iteration. So it could be hair, or it could be the shape of the face. Making all these things look realistic enough to, for players to be able to get attached to uh, is it, very, very difficult. But you definitely see it, it, it sort of moves along and moves along and then suddenly it's like bang and it's, it's unreal and you're like, wow, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Aren't you charming? So you have that eureka moment where the character just sort of appears. I, I think, you know, you really do when, when uh, and it's, it's often actually quite late in development when uh, there's a lot of tech that's been built and uh, a lot of animation's been done and, uh, and the voice actors have been working and then at some point they, it just, it, you look at it one day and you're like, ah. you know, you look at the next thing and you're like, wow, that's actually amazing. The key is to, to try and get inside the character and, and figure out what their personality is and how that's going to manifest itself in a physical way. We have a great new character in Dragon Age Inquisition called Iron Bull. He's a Canari warrior. Uh, and being Canari, he's, you know, he's huge and muscular. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. Uh, and he has some wonderful lines as well. He's voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. And he's brought a wonderful amount of personality to the character. And all these things go into the kind of iterative melting pot that the artist can work with. Um, so for instance, Iron Ball has a, he only has one eye, he has an eye patch, so it instantly suggests that there's a backstory around Iron Ball. How did he lose it? Why does he adopt the patch? And those kind of Little um, sort of creative tweaks can, can really influence people's perceptions of a character and they can go all the way through from just his physical manifestation to, to the clothing that he wears, to the equipment that he carries. And of course, when you get actually into the game and playing it, the, uh, the moves that he makes. They'll like put a detail on, on a piece of concept art and, and like a, some part of their clothing, which they thought that might be interesting. And then we'll, we'll see that and we'll go, hey, that's kind of neat. And we'll sort of springboard off of that. There's a lot of stress that builds up as you make these games and, and everyone's working so hard and, and you want everything to be perfect so when you see things finally come together whether it be characters or whether it be environments or, or story or, or acting whatever that thing is that that you just really want to nail finally gets there it's it's incredibly rewarding